Hi guys, how are you all doing the sugar filler? Guys, I want to try these three Dior lip products for you guys. So I've got their lip glow. Um, this one is lip gloss and then the lip oil. These are just the only three Dior lip products that I have. So I just want to try with you guys in case if you want to buy a lip um, product from Dior to know the one to go for. I noticed that I have the three of them and I said, let's, why, why not if not try it in case because sometimes if i want to buy stuff i just want to see a video of what they have and then i can make up my mind so what i have on my lips today is not the deal what i have on my lips is the butter gloss the next butter gloss in the shade um sugar high sugar high is what i have on my lips with the what's the name of this again Dull beauty is that Dull beauty yeah Dull beauty their lip pencil killing it and this shade here from Maybelline. What's the name of this? What's the shade? Last time I said this shade here. Now, okay. 110 Rich Wine. Maybelline. The Ali Pencil as well. That's what I have on my list. So we're going to wipe that off. Just wanted to tell you guys what I have on my list. If I wipe it off, let me just take it off. And then let's see. I've not tried the deal, like all of them. But I know. I've not compared the uh, lip product but i know the one that i like which i'm going to tell you guys but let's see if the one that i like is still the one that i like or if i'm going to change my mind as i wear them mm, all of that is my lips with nothing so we're going to start with the lip gloss this is the dior lip gloss in the shade 012 rosewood so rosewood 012 is what we're starting with let me just give you a little bit swatch on my hand for you to see the shade before i apply it on my lips so this is what it's just a little bit pinky shade that gives you my lips for better that's just what i have here everything the, the three that i have here they give my lips for better so let's swatch down the lips the applicator doesn't pick a lot that's the problem that i have with it as well so you can see the applicator is a small um dofa applicator it doesn't pick too much so you have to dip it in and dip it in and i don't like that so this is my Second swatch. This is the kind of lip product that I like. I don't like lip products doing too much. So this is it. So it gives you a little bit of that tingly sensation on your lips. You just get that teeny tiny kind of like trying to plumb your, the lips. And which is what this. I wish. Oh God. I didn't tell you people to take note of what my lips look like before I put this on. You leave this for at least. Let's just leave it for like two minutes. You will see my lips. You see all this line on my lips which is still there a little bit, you will see the fine lines of my lips will disappear a little bit. If you allow this seat for a while, the fine lines will disappear. That's one thing I love about this one. So if you are someone that have fine lines on your lips, get this one, you will like it. It just helps the fine line to disappear because it's got like this um, burning sensation, not too much. So not if you hear burning sensation, you feel like, no, this is going to burn me. No, you just have like that kind of like menthy um, feelings on your lips. You just feel like a mental feelings. Yeah. And after that, it will just plumb your lips a little bit, and which is really good. You can see my fine line is disappearing gradually. If I can do the before and after, hopefully, I will do the before and after so you guys can see what I'm saying. Because it's still burning, so you allow it to settle for a while. You will see the lips get really, really plump. So, yeah, I like this one. And the shade that we use is Rosewood 012. So, this is it. you see that your lips are better yeah you can see the fine lines they are really going off let me just allow you sit for a while yeah so this is after like a minute of waiting so look at my lips now yeah so this is dior lip gloss 012 rosewood and let's take that off and i don't want my videos to be long because i want you guys to watch to the end because when it's long sometimes people don't watch it to the end I'm still feeling that burning sensation a bit. That's one good thing with the early product. Is it expensive? Yes. But when you wear them and take them off, the benefit is still there. Like you can tell the difference on your lips when you take them off. That's just one thing I love about them. So the next one, I'm going to use the lip, um, lip glow. This is Lip Glow Color Revive, Reviver Balm in the shade 0 to of sand, um, Rosewood again. My last video, I was busy calling it Sandalwood. It wasn't, it's rose wood. So this is the shade. See, it's the same thing 
but this one is more of like it's not shiny as the lip gloss so lip gloss is meant to be shiny and this one the tint is there but it's not glossy so let's apply it on the lips I'm, I don't like bringing out a hola. I just like bringing out. Yeah. This is it. You can see this one tint is a little bit more than the lip gloss one. So this is the rosewood lip balm. You can wear this one like this. If you're someone that don't like glossy lips and you want your lips to be better, this one is just so good. When you take this off, your lips will look so supple and hydrating, honestly. That's just one good thing I love so, so much about this lip product. So this is the lip balm in the shade 012 um, Rosewood. So now let's try the last one. So I'm going to, let me just show you, put the combo that I do with the two before I try the last one. Because if I put the last one on, oh, that would have been what I, oh God, Fina, you messed up. That would have been my last one, but that's okay. Let me show you guys the combo that I do with these two, which I said is my best. Layering the lip balm with the oil. So this is the oil. This one is 007. I can't see the name, but the number is 007. Just a little of the oil on the lip balm. And that's it. Like that, and then you line your lips. I love the natural look that it gives and then when you line your lips with any lip liner that you want oh my god it looks so so classy and simple that means you're not doing too much but your lips looks really really good this one just got me when I saw the two of them I'm like nah I need to go with these two I need these two like there's no way I can take this without this because I don't want to mix these two together so I just needed something that will elevate this one a little bit for me because if you know me glossy lips is my thing like it's hard to catch me have like mattifying lips so I do sometimes but it's not something that I do all the time so glossy lips is always my thing and when I saw this I was like now nah, this can go by itself this one can go I just need the two together is everything and another good thing about this it works with the temperature of your lips Okay, so maybe the way to show up on my skin will be different from the way to show up on your skin. Just know that it works with the temperature of your skin and there's no build up. See that? There is no build up. Another thing is they are quite expensive. Let's be honest. They are. That is something pound each. Excuse you. They are. So let me try the lip oil on my lips. It really hurts wiping this off. I don't just like wasting it. I just wanted to do this video. Please don't forget to like comment share as well let me know the shade that you like and let me know if you like the combination that i just did so i'm going to use the 007 lip oil let me just oh god i just feel like i'm wasting this but i'm not i just want to show you guys in case so this is the lip oil all by itself this is the lip oil this is the lip balm this is the lip gloss and let me just swatch the lip oil look at the dofa applicator this is what they would have done with this one this one dofa applicator is everything i love the dofa applicator but the other one is so tiny so let's swatch that on the lips. Just one swipe and you are good. You don't need too much. It's lip oil. Very, very comfortable on the lips. Every single one that I've used here, they are really comfortable on the lips. You see how glossy, how shiny this is. Yes. Simple as this. You can wear this any day. Even when you dress up, when you dress down, anyhow you dress, this can go. And when someone look at your lips, there's different. Like, okay, wait, let me do something. I know it's a little bit tricky to compare these two, but let me just do it. I've not done it before, but let me do it. This is the deal side. Let me cut out the half of the deal. I want to compare it with the, oh God, this is insult to the deal one, but my dear, I'm not the one that told you to make it really expensive. I want to do my lip gloss that I've got. This one is Beauty Forever. They are fruity lip gloss. Cherry shade is the one I'm using. The cherry. The cherry has got a little bit of pink. Well, let me see. I have a new one. Where did I put them? Let me show you guys. Yeah. So this is the cherry. Do you see the color? So it's kind of like pink. I haven't opened that one yet. I just wanted to use it and show you guys what I'm saying. So let me put that on the half side of my lip. So this is the deal side. And let's try this one. This one is so light. But I just use it. And it's really good. Oh, shut up. This one is light, but it's good. You can see it's giving me still that tint, that pink tint, but you can tell the difference how glossy this one looks. You can see this one looks glossy and who is messaging me? 
Wait, let me put my phone on silent. You can see how glossy and rich this side is. And this side looks okay, but one thing is this doesn't last. Like you have to always top it off. You have to always top this up every time. Like everywhere I sit, I have this. Every corner of my house. But it's worth it. It's one pound and this one is like 30 something pound. Yeah, I don't mind topping it up. This is like 30 of this. Yeah, 30 something of this is one of this. So yeah. This lasts more than this because by the time I top this top this, there's no way I can use that. It's something of this before I finish this. But you can always tell the difference when someone wear this and when someone wear that. The glossiness of them too is different. This one has got like the oil, like you know that this is proper lip oil. But you can see the two. This side and that. Sorry, I didn't just show you guys the lip oil before I wipe it off. Well, hey, I'm not putting it back. Just thought of comparing the two of them. And yeah, this one is the one pound side. And this one is a dear side. What do you think? 30 something pound, one pound. Both of them are not sticky at all. And long lasting, this one anytime, any day. This one, just put it anywhere you're sitting around you to top it up. But other than that, I really like it. I really like it. Like right now in my house, I have one in my toilet. I have these two shades on my vanity. I have like four or five backups of them. I have them. Anytime I go to a farm store, I just pick them and put it in my bag. Because everywhere I sit, I sit with them. So just wanted to come here and share that with you guys. Guys, just wanted to show you guys the deal product in case if you want to buy it, which one to go for. Yeah, let me know which one you will go for. Which one do you like the most? Or which one do you think, Fina, this suits you the best? Or just let's have a little bit chat in the comment section. If you don't know what to say, just say, hey. Just comment here, but like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys again in my next video. And above all, don't forget to share yourself love. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye there.